Good morning and happy Friday. Welcome back to another segment of Mornings in Elmira. I am again joined by Tori and we are at the Community Arts of Elmira. Tori, again, thank you so much for joining me today. So why don't we start off just by telling me the artwork that we are standing in front of. You've been working on it over time. I'm teaching demos. So why don't you just explain to me the process and where you are now and what still needs added? Yeah, so this still needs a lot added. Um, I'm on a time crunch as per usual. Um, but when I started my show, so when I opened on June 3rd, this was a blank canvas and um, most of my works have been completed in like my living room or a basement corner or basically tucked away from the public um, and then have taken a couple of years to complete just because I never prioritized them. So most people are really just familiar with my mural work and seeing that process. So I wanted to really introduce people to the process that goes into my original works. Um, so the day after the show opened, um, I started working on this. Um, the demos have been about two hours long each and I've worked on it in between. But started with a blank canvas. I always work on wood just because I'm a messy human being and uh, paper leads to mistakes. Um, so I started sketching it out and it's taken form over the, over the past couple months. Um, this upcoming Saturday on the 20th, I have my final demo um, scheduled for it. Um, I may complete it. I may ruin it entirely. We will see. Um, a solid chance I'll ruin it entirely. But either way, the completed piece will be up to view um, on the 27th, which is when my show closes. Okay. And so when you started teaching these demos, did you have an idea of what you wanted to put on the canvas or was it kind of just an as you went? Oh yeah, good question. Um, so whenever I start an art piece, I always have a very clear image of what I want to do already in my head. It normally just arrives that way and then I try to recreate it. Um, so for this one, I already had the expression that I wanted nailed down. I had the idea for it um, and it worked out too because um, the final execution for it is definitely going to be more suited for a demo that you can't see any of those elements yet. Um, but yeah, I don't normally use myself um, as a reference for my work, but I needed to get this done quick and it's very much an autobiographical piece. So snapped a little awkward photo of myself looking like this, uh, referenced it for like maybe the first 20 minutes and then I've just kind of been uh, going from my brain from there. No, it looks really good. I mean, you said your next one's coming up on the 20th. Yes. Correct? So what time is it at? And if people want to like know more about that, where can they find yeah. that information? Um, so it's scheduled for noon to 2. Um, we're going to be doing a live stream on Facebook, but it's going to be held here. So um, yeah, you can pop in. Open hours for the gallery are 11 to 1, um, Friday and Saturday. And then from noon to 2 is when we're going to be doing this demo. So the place will be open a little bit later. Um, and we'll be starting inside, and then we'll be taking it outside for me to take the uh, final steps to complete the piece. Okay, and you have something coming up for the Alive After Five tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna be at Downtown Grind. Uh, Sarah has invited me over to do a live, it's not gonna be a complete large scale mural. It's going to be um, just kind of a small piece done in a mural style, and uh, that's gonna be part of another installation uh, sometime next year involving other mural artists from the Elmire Recording area. Okay, well that's awesome. Um, so I can't wait to learn more about your work and everything that's in this room. It's all very beautiful. More news and weather coming up after the break.